What is Answers and how do we use it? Answers is the community site for solving Unity related problems. On Answers, our community, from beginners to pros, helps solve problems in a question and answer format. Answers also allows the community to participate and vote on the quality of both the questions and the answers. Answers is different from the forum. The forum is a place to discuss more complex issues or simply to gossip. To post a question, click on Ask a Question. The question should be clear and simple. For our example, jittery movement with spaceship controller. Then follow this up with a detailed description. I have a script in my spaceflight game that controls my player's ship. It works, but the movement is not smooth, and I'd like to have the ship fly in a smooth path. We can see a preview of our post below the text box where we have entered our description. This will give us a good indication of what the final post will look like. To add code, it's best to enter our code as text and then format it. Often, this simply means copying and pasting our code from an existing script. We can see that this newly pasted code is not displaying perfectly. You can format this text as code by selecting the text and using the code button to format it. It is helpful to add as much additional detail to our description as possible. Above the text entry box are buttons for styling our text and adding links and attachments. There are buttons for highlighting our text, including both bold and italic. You can add URLs by using the hyperlink button, make block quotes, attach files, attach and display images, create numbered or bullet point lists, or add simple page formatting. Notice that the tool tips on the buttons also indicate the markup text and the hotkey for each function. Also, the details of all of these are noted to the right in Markdown Basics. It's best to add as much detail as possible, so let's add a video of our ship. Here is a link to the video of my ship in flight. To add a link, we can click the hyperlink button and paste the URL. This will add a link block of text. The actual URL is listed below. We need to change the highlighted link text to something appropriate for our post, like link to video. Note that the link text is now live, but the referenced URL does not display in the preview or in the final post. Alternatively, you can select existing text and add a URL link to it. Adding an image is very similar. Click on the Image button. We can either paste in a URL for a hosted image or point to an image on our local machine. When we're done writing our post, we should check the preview below the text entry box. If we tried to post now, we would get an error. Before we can post our question, we need to add at least one and up to five tags for our post. The tags entry box can be found below our preview. We need to select a few keywords that sum up the main aspects of our question. These can be tags like terrain, camera, character controller, light mapping, physics, gravity. In our case, we're going to use scripting, movement, and flying. Tags should be in all lower case. If we start typing, we will get a suggestion of what tags to use in the current list. Using return or enter will accept the tag, and tags can also be separated by commas. To remove a tag, either click the X or backspace over the tag. Once we have participated in the Answers community for a while, we will earn reputation as something called Karma Points. When we have earned enough of these Karma Points, we will be able to do additional things, like create new tags that are not already in the list. Once everything is ready, simply click the button Ask Your Question, and our question will be posted. Notice that our very first post will require moderation. As a spam prevention measure, a new user's post will require moderation. Users will need to earn at least 15 karma points to be able to post unmoderated. New users start with no karma, and users gain karma by participating in the Answers community. Users gain karma by posting helpful questions and giving useful answers. Many of the actions on the Answers site are limited by the amount of karma that has been earned by a user. Currently, karma only works on Answers and does not play a role in the Unity forum or feedback sites. Now that our question has been posted, it's time to look at responding to other people's questions on answers and perhaps even earning some karma. You can find the newest posts simply by navigating to the answers main page or by choosing questions from the answers navigation bar. If you want to find a list of unanswered questions, select the unanswered tab. Let's take a quick look at the main page. There are red, blue, and green icons. The red icons indicate that there is a question with no answers. The blue icons indicate that there are answers proposed to the question, 
but none have been accepted by the original poster. The green icons indicate that a proposed answer has been accepted. For the purposes of this example, let's answer our own question. When looking at a question, there are two ways to respond. By adding a comment or by suggesting an answer. One of the most important points to understand about the answer site is that it is not the forum. Posts are not sequential. The page is broken into sections with the questions at the top and proposed answers below. The order of the proposed answers will change depending upon whether those answers have been voted up or down, and whether the proposed answer has been selected by the original author as the correct one. If we need clarity about a question, or we want to make a simple suggestion rather than a full answer, we should add a comment. To add a comment, select the small gray button with Add New Comment on it. This will create a new text window for our comment. Have you tried to smooth your input in any way? Once we've made our comment, we click on the Comment button to post it. We can always click Cancel if we've changed our mind. If we believe that we have an answer to suggest, we simply add our answer to the open text box below the question. At this point, I think it's important to note that this box is for proposed answers only. Proposed answers should have an understanding of the original question and try to fully answer that question. If you simply want to comment on the question or another proposed answer, you must post that as a comment. I would suggest that you add code to smooth between your last frame's heading and your new heading. Take a look at LERP, specifically Vector3.LERP. But we should be as helpful as possible. Let's grab the link to Vector3.LERP and add it to the post as well. Even more helpful would be to post some code that uses our suggestion. Note that we're going to need to format this new code for our answer the same way we did when we asked our question. To submit our answer, we choose Post Your Answer. Now that we have a proposed answer, it can be voted on by the community, or chosen as the correct answer by the original author. Community members may choose to vote an answer or question up or down by using the thumbs up or thumbs down buttons. Users should vote good post up, which will gain the author karma, or they may vote bad post down, which will reduce the karma of the author. It is possible to comment on a question or any of the proposed answers. Questions, proposed or accepted answers all have an add comment button available and it's in these comments that the users can discuss the details of a question or any of its answers. If someone has posted a successful answer to our question, it is important that we select it as the correct one by using the green check mark. This will indicate to the community that our question has been answered. It will also grant karma to the author of the answer, which is a very good thing to do. Even after a proposed answer has been accepted as the correct one, the community can still vote the answer up or down indicating which one the community thinks is best. So, the answer site. Answers is a great place for asking straightforward questions and getting direct answers, and for associating the best correct answer to the original question. Give it a whirl!